everyone, this is Rick with Cybermedics, and we're here today to use the registry editor to transform the Windows 11 Explorer view back to the Windows 10 Explorer view. First thing we'll do is use the Win plus I key, type in Create, Restore, Point, and Create, give it a name, select Create, and that's what happened to me. So I had to do some research on that and figure out how to fix that problem. There's a link to the video above that is a comprehensive guide to fixing the shadow copy provider had an error. So once I did that, I restarted the system, came back in, used Windows I key, create restore point, create, give it a name, create. And that time it worked successfully. So we close all this. And what we want to do is just kind of explore the Windows 11 Explorer view just to show you what it looks like. We'll click on pictures here. You have a new drop down that will launch a Microsoft application and create a document all at the same time. We'll click on saved pictures. You have a little share icon where you can share items. Just thought it was a good idea to look at the Windows 11 Explorer view so you can see what it looks like before we change it. On sort, view, show, click on the hamburger menu, options, view, you have all the file explorer details down here. Close that out. We'll right click on the file. They show more options. So a lot of things are buried. Normally they're readily visible on the Windows 10, but in Windows 11, a lot of these items are buried down in the menus. So now we'll right click on the open white space, go view, sort by. Okay, so that's enough of the Windows 11 file explorer view. Let's close that out. Let's come down here. And we're going to run Registry Editor as an administrator. And just want to emphasize how dangerous editing your registry is because you are one edit away from making your computer system unstable and unusable. There's five things you should do before you edit your registry. And these should be done probably regardless. First one would be create a system restore disk USB or DVD. This will have all the software tools necessary to be able to recover a corrupted Windows installation on your hard drive. Also make sure that your BIOS is set up to be able to boot from the USB or DVD. Second one is do a cloud backup of all your critical files, as well as a local hard drive backup of those critical files. Fourth thing is do a hard drive image backup that would have your operating system and all your applications so that you could recover all the data applications and operating system all from the same drive. And finally, create a recent restore point. There's a link above to give you more details on how to go through these processes. If you're comfortable with that and you want to accept the fact that editing your registry could make your system unstable, then proceed with caution. So what we'll do is we'll select key local machine, expand that, Select software. And you notice as we as we click on these, the path up here changes. So make sure the path is in sync with what changes you're going to make. From software, we'll go down to Microsoft, expand that. And we'll scroll down here and we'll go to Windows, select expand. Windows, we're going to go to current version. Expand that, scroll down here and go to Shell Extension, right click on Shell Extension and say New Key and type in Blocked and then once you do that, click over here, select New and, say, and select String Value. Paste the string value. You can get this from the video description. I will close this. 
come down and do one last look at, we're about to change that by restarting the system. So we'll go here, select restart, and come back in and look at, there you go. Now you have the detailed ribbon of the Windows 10 Explorer, where before in the Windows 11, things are hidden away, so you have to drill down. Definitely Windows 11 is a cleaner look. It just depends on whether you're more focused on having the functionality up in front or you like the clean look of Windows 11. That concludes our video demonstration of how to use the registry editor to bring back the Windows 10 Explorer view in Windows 11. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Hope you will consider subscribing and have a great and wonderful automation day.